ad hoc on demand distance vector routing protocol so ad hoc these routing protocols are basically for manet mobile ad hoc networks uh, there are four types of routing protocols uh, proactive reactive hybrid and hierarchical so uh, aodb belongs to reactive one uh, reactive protocol it is one of a reactive protocol so what is reactive protocols so these th these reactive protocols basically build the path when when they are needed like or uh, when they are needed like on demand they have been built those are not pre stored they have their own advantages and disadvantages these protocols like they don't store the whole route so there is no wastage of memory and there is a they have to build it when they need and there is no battery loss for this stuff and disadvantages high la latency time in routing finding and excessive flooding can lead to network logging and AO aodv NS2 network simulator is a discrete event simulator targeted at networking research provides substantial support for net simulation of tcp routing and multicast protocols over wired and wireless networks so ad hoc on demand distance vector routing protocol so initially here basically ad hoc means every node acts as a client and the server suppose we have five nodes and node 1 2 3 4 5 so node 1 wants to send data packets from one node 1 to node 5 so basically when node 1 sends a root request uh, it makes uh, it consists of the sequence number and the ip address of the source and the destination so the uh, the source and the destinations are called as the broadcast id and the sequence number is the age of the request which like uh, send uh, Uh, it can it also consists of the lifespan the lifespan is basically like uh, if the request co is crosses over the lifespan then the a new request is being made with the longer lifespan so now node 1 basically broadcasts the message broadcasts a uh, request to the other nodes around it like this so then if the node uh, the corresponding nodes have a route back to the Have it, have the total. Uh, have the route to the destination. Then they'll reply back to the other. Uh, reply back to the corresponding nodes. Reply back to the corresponding nodes. If they doesn't have, then they'll request. Uh, then, th then they will broadcast messages to the surrounding nodes. As such, uh, we'll get the um, we'll get to the destination. So if uh, as soon as we re uh, re receive a request from the destination saying that the uh, route has been found, then the reply request. has been made uh, saying that the route has been found